so I'm ready to start another painting and let me kind of explain what I got going on here <clears throat> and I also apologize for my my throat I've been a little under the weather and have a bit of a, a sore throat going on but I uh, uh, just wanted to get this new painting underway and and so can't let a sore throat stop that um, here's what I have going on I've got a 16 by 20 inch canvas board and I have sanded it and I have prepped it so that uh, we've got this nice um, dark uh, blue purple color uh, this will be a, a fairly dark painting but um, what I've done is I've outlined with my pencil we're gonna have a couple cliffs uh, with some foliage growing on them here we've got one here this is going to be um, maybe a lagoon of some sort coming into a small little uh, island um, and then here is going to be another um, small little mountain or cliff formation right here so we'll have the three cliffs uh, on this side I'm going to have some a waterfall coming down and we'll have a bunch of greenery and, and foliage growing on, on the cliffs um, and then in the in the water we'll have a big pirate ship right maybe about right here uh, and we'll have a, a little boat um, that's uh, you know the ship will be anchored and the boat will be trying to to, to float to shore um, so that's kind of basically what we're going to do uh, starting this painting um, so with that we're going to start by We want to uh, just create maybe kind of an overcast. Um, and the way I want to do that is I want to go ahead and bring some of my white paint, my titanium white. I'm going to go ahead and wet the canvas, get myself a little bit of drawing time here. And obviously we're going to cover my drawing, but we have kind of a basic road map that we've already sort of established with that. So I just want to come in here and add my, my paint. As a matter of fact, I need to grab a little bit more because... Uh, I did not put quite a, quite enough here, so I use the uh, Golden Open brands of acrylic paint, which give me a nice long drawing time over the over the heavy body Golden Open versions of that. Okay. So I've got a little extra paint now. Spray this to kind of keep my paints from drying out too quick. Of course that's going to run a little bit, but that's all right. I'm just going to introduce this quick sky. With that I'm going to come in double load blue with some burnt sienna. I'm sorry, I mean uh, burnt umber, not sienna. We're using umber. I want to make it fairly dark and I may have to go over this a couple times to get it the right consistency and And shade that I'm looking for. But the sienna kind of helps to gray it out, or the umber I mean. Sienna, sienna can do the trick too, um, but it's got a little red in it kind of warms it up and I don't really want this to be too warm. 
So I'm using the umber to create this. And then I'm just going to come down here because I want to I want to make sure I don't have any hard edges. So I'm going to smooth it out. Okay. I clean my brush out. Just using a standard number eight fan brush. Get it nice and dry. Okay. So I'm going to come back over this now and I'm going to smooth this. Get rid of any any uh, brush strokes. Make it nice and smooth. to please subscribe to my YouTube channel where I've got many different painting tutorials and uh, I really appreciate uh, you looking into that. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm going to want to do now is I want to bring in just lots of distant cloud formations and so I'm going to come in here to pick up some of my my white and go into sort of a sort of a bluish gray color It's going to be just a little bit lighter than the background. And so right now it's just a matter of just kind of ghosting on different uh, sh patterns and shapes on the clouds.
Okay, so I think now we've more or less got our um, our background sort of laid in the way I'd like to have it. Um, so I don't think there's a lot more we need to do here. I did I did add a little bit more to the waterfall, a couple extra little streams of water that are coming down, and um, now we've kind of laid in our two larger uh, rock formations and the cliff here. This part here is all going to be water, and um, what I want to do with this, let's see if I've got... want to do here this is all going to be very dark um, I'm going to use a lot of black and purple and uh, I think I just, I just want to lay in a straight edge here didn't know that uh, rulers can be used for more than just making lines. Anyway, or more than just uh, measuring, you can make lines with it too. So this is all going to be the ocean right here, or the little lagoon that the ship's going to be floating into. So, I'm going to go ahead and, and bring all that in really dark as well. That's mainly just a little purple, a little black together.
waiting for all this to, to have a good thorough dry. Um, I'm going to come back in here, in here, and maybe even in the background here. I want to bring in a little more intensity to some of my highlights. I'm going to go into my yellow green. And this is just a real pretty green color. But um, in a lot of areas here, we're going to have. Some really, some really good striking of of light, kind of hitting. I've I've painted in um, some of these shafts of light, kind of this heavenly light coming down, and in certain areas here, that's going to get hit by some of that light on the top of our canopy. And so I'm going to literally just come through here and uh, make sure that we're showing that this is getting hit by some good sunlight.
to kind of share what I've done up to this point is um, I've gone ahead and I've drawn in my ship kind of where I want it to be. Um, we'll have a small little boat here uh, as well, uh, kind of making its way to shore. Um, I do need to come in. I wasn't quite sure where I put the ship. I thought I might go here. So now that I've pushed it over a little bit more, um, I need to bring my shadow of the ship more, more over. So we're going to um, start working on, on bringing some of the highlight here. I need to highlight a little more over here. I'm going to add some highlight to my stones here. Add some more color over on this side. And we'll just kind of play with this. Um, so that's what we'll focus on. I also want to add just a tad more detail over here as well. <clears throat> so what we'll first do is start working on, on the water a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is go into that light turquoise mixture that I've created. And now that we know where we've defined the ship, it'll be important to kind of draw this out now.
gonna begin to work on our little boat. So again, I'm gonna go into my purple and my black, and I just want to just outline the boat for right now. Identify where where it's going to be located. round brush right here um, not a ton of detail has to go into this but we do want to show just enough to give it the indication of what's going on here so we've got our probably our, our captain right here Got 
his hair. He's got his hat. Now he's got the shirt, which is white. <coughs> so I'm gonna move my script liner brush here. Make sure I'm pretty precise about bringing in. Looks like he's got his hand on its hip. And he's holding aloft. A torch.
working on the ship now. And the ship is going to be largely pretty dark. Um, I think the best way to do this is to block in the whole ship in, uh, in black and then we'll bring it out through highlights. <coughs> so I come through here now. I'll even start up here. We're just going to start making some general little shapes. Make sure that's sitting there steady in my easel. All right, so we'll make a couple little shapes here. Make some some simple dots. Grab some more of that. Okay. Some of this I'm going to have to turn to get certain shapes in here. Um, before I turn it though, we're going to come and grab so we have a series of intricacies right here. so that I get the right shape on some of this. I'm going to move this. I want to get a nice highlight right here. So I apologize if this isn't very well seen. There. I'm gonna make it make it a little darker, a little more blue. So we've got a series of dots right here. A series of so we have a line.
And this will give kind of the impression that we have some ornate, maybe woodwork. Got a line right here.
So I've drawn, drawn in a couple guys here. So again, these will just be some simple strokes. Um, and there's going to be, you know, maybe little cargo and things as well that's just sitting. You'll see the silhouette of some things happening. We'll have some dark heads. This guy right there, this guy right here, kind of looking over the edge, and So we're going to bring in the shadow first for their clothes. This guy right here. This dude sort of looks like he's a priest. Got some long kind of robe he's wearing.
want to show a little highlight. We can see that those hatches are open. And we'll prop those open with Whenever one of those is propped open, I'm going to go into my white. And on the tops of all these, I'm just going to give a nice sunlit glow all the way across. that too thick so I'm gonna thin that out a little bit. Too much water on that one. Just dab it off.
this point, it's gonna be time for us to start adding in all of our different all of our different ropes and cables. And the way I do that is I use a felt tip pen. Before I get into that, I'm going to let this all dry and with some of these I want a little more shadow and I'm just going to take some of my, my umber and purple I'm going to shadow out the bottoms of these. Just make them a little bit darker here. just a little bit more dimensional. All right, so I've added all of the rope with my felt tip pin. We're getting close to being done here. Um, I am going to add a. <clears throat> Want to add a little flag.
putting pure black underneath the ship. Some of the deepest, darkest shadows will be closest to the ship. shadows right here. And a couple nice deep ones right here. 